Welcome to the year 2021, Nigeria, and every other part of the world that's watching Plus TV Africa this fine morning. It's a Friday, the first day in the year 2021. Welcome. A good way to start it off, we had the speech from President Muhammad Buhari. Uh, I must say, off the top of my head, I think that was the most... Um, I don't know, uh, one of the best speeches. I know there will be flaws, people will poke holes, but off sentimentally, that was a good speech from the president. He highlighted a whole lot of issues. Let me quickly um, uh, tell you some of that before we talk about the other things that we have on the breakfast this morning. My name is Felicity Ezewike, by the way, and I am flying solo on this first day of um, 2021. My colleague Osaoge is a little under the weather, and we hope he will be uh, better and back here by Monday morning. All right, uh, we will. Um, let me quickly uh, highlight some of the things uh, for me. That stood out. I was. I was. Um, I could barely write as fast as he was um, going. Uh, the first thing he acknowledged was how challenging the year 2020 uh, had been. He described it as one of the most strenuous year uh, for Nigerians. Uh, he said a very tough year. I'm trying to pick some of the words uh, that uh, he used. He acknowledged the fact that we've lost a lot of Nigerians. He said, media soul rest in perfect peace. There was sympathy for those who lost their lives. He also acknowledged that we celebrated our 60th independence um, in 2020 in the spirit of hope. Something he said, I'd like to mention, a country on a difficult journey uh, to greatness, no doubt about that. For me, that is an acknowledgement of the fact that the chore before him is quite um, a huge steal. Uh, he went on to, you know, use words that unify. He, he said, uh, one country united under the will of God, 60 years on, in spite of our challenges. He said, we will weather all stormy weather where others have fallen. And we seem to be thriving in spite of our many challenges. We're always complaining about things, but we are a strong nation, as the president emphasized in the speech he delivered uh, this morning. Again, something else he talked about that got me, it, it's not like it was new, but he he repeated some of the things he said about the protests against uh, police brutality. In it, he said, um, the federal government remains committed to the five points that was raised by the protesters and they will do what they can uh, to implement it. He said, our ongoing challenge uh, will be faced head on with renewed determination uh, to see um, that we change things. That's one of the things he said. And another little comment that might not um, hit a lot of persons was when he said, I hope we will, analysts will pick this one out because sometimes we always accuse this administration of not paying attention and not listening and not learning. In that speech, somehow they found a way to put this that we will not uh, relent when he comes, uh, he was talking about uh, the security situation, the uh, recovery of the Kankara boys and some of the challenges. And then he said, we will not relent in learning and adapting to improve our security responses. That is from President Muhammad Bukhari's New Year's message this morning. There is more. He talked about infrastructure. For those that might have missed this, I'm just trying to recap it before we get uh, on to the program this morning. He talked about infrastructural reform, reforms generally to help um, infrastructure, and of course he talked about the economy, but for infrastructure he emphasized what his government is doing with rails, road, and power generation. That's another a tricky part for us as a people. Power generation still remains a challenge, uh, even though he, he has uh, reiterated that they are committed to improving that. He also talked about boosting job creation and supporting young uh, entrepreneurs to grow their business, uh, basically. And then he reminded us of of uh, what he met on ground in 2015, and uh, Nigerians should look how far we have come since then. The anti-corruption fight also got a mention from that speech, and uh, the one that the year of the pandemic that we all talk about, he highlighted the fact for those that were worried whether Nigeria was going to procure a vaccine for uh, the virus, well, he has said they will do all. Let me see if I can get the exact word as I wrote it. COVID-19 vaccine will be procured. 
But in the meantime, he urged that we all observe all safety protocol, so to stay safe until we get that vaccine and reduce the spread of the disease. That's the you know, snippet from the you know, presidential speech by President Muhammad Buhari on this first day of uh, January 2021. Welcome again. Okay, so on this day, we will be talking about the usual stuff. We'll be looking at the newspaper, what is making the headlines. Uh, we will have a guest join us, hopefully, Femi Lawson. Uh, he's a public affairs analyst to, you know, share his thought. And I will pick his brain a bit on what the president has said. Today in history is also prominent. Um, I mean, we can't miss that, can we? We'll be talking about the Naira. What happened with it today? Where's the conversation coming from? What does the Naira even mean? We'll look at that during uh, today in history. We'll also talk about a very prominent body that has been championing peace and ensuring humanitarian efforts across the world uh, is enhanced. I'm talking about the United Nations. On this day, it was established. We'll be talking a bit about that as well. New Year resolution. We all do that. We'll be talking about that, looking, about, uh, looking at how well some of us, yes, it was a year of pandemic, but there are some things we resolved to do. Uh, maybe some uh, character, um, behavioral changes, some decision about our diet, how many of us were able to, you know, succeed with our 2020 resolution. And now that we have 2021, of what relevance really uh, would it be to have New Year resolution? The budget was passed at the very uh, last minute um, yesterday. Uh, the president signed the budget 2020 in 2021, I beg your pardon, um, into law. That will be happening a lot in, in the coming days. Uh, presenters will be making that mistake, as I know I probably would. We'll be saying 2020 until we get used to the fact that this is 2021. 2020 has packed its bag and went away. Um, we'll be doing the 2021 budget. I'll be dissecting it and looking at um, you know, some of the issues. One that I would like to really understand, even though we've talked about it a little here, um, the 2020 budget was extended to 2021, I think the first quarter. So how is this 2021 going to uh, commence? I, I don't get it. We'll have uh, someone, an economist, uh, Dr. Austin um, Anyogu, joining us to talk about that in the course of this morning. We've got a short break now. I know that was a mouthful, an introduction, but let's go on a break. When we come back, we'll be looking at the papers. What is the headline on this first day of 2021? Stay with us. <laughs> 